Okay, so we're going to show our electron filling tree here now, right? So I'm going to put my 1s on here first, and then I'm going to do my 2s and my 2p, and then I'm going to go my 3s, 3p, and 3d here, and I'm going to keep on filling these in, all right? So 4s, 4p, 4d, and then 4f. That's as far as we're going to observe, so we're going to not go any further past our F. Then we're going to have our 5S, 5P, 5D, and 5F. Our 6S, 6P, 6D, and then our 7S, and our 7P. Right? All of these other ones that would be over here, we haven't observed them yet, so we're not going to put them on there for now. Okay? So, oops. I, didn't, I had that on the wrong spot. So our 1s is what's going to fill first. We're going to draw an arrow through that. That's what's going to fill first. Okay? And then we're going to make a loop and we're going to go back over here. Next, we're going to fill up the 2s. Okay? And then we're going to make a loop and we'll go back up here. And then we're going to fill our 2p and then our 3s. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some extra arrows on there so that we know the direction, right? Once we hit the 3s, then we're going to make our loop back up here, and we're going to go to the 3p, and then the 4s, okay? And then we'll make our loop back up here, and then we'll do, whoops, our 3d, and then our 4p, and then our 5s. What you can see is I'm kind of making this zigzag pattern all the way down, okay? So then I'm going to go back up to the top, and then after my 5s, I'm going to fill my 4d, and then I'm going to fill my 5p, and then I'm going to fill my 6s, and then I'm going to loop back up, and I'll fill my 4f, and then my 5d, and then my 6p, and then the 7s, and then I've got one more loop to fill, and I'll go fill in my 5F, my 6D, and then finally my 7P, okay? So I kind of make this zigzag Christmas tree type of structure, okay? We can also see this if we actually look at our periodic table, right? If we look at our periodic table, we fill in the 1S with two electrons first, and then we would go fill in our 2s with two electrons. And then we would jump all the way across and we fill in six electrons into my 2p orbital. And then I come back over here. My 3s, I fill in my two electrons. And then I jump across and I fill in my 3p electrons, my six 3p uh, electrons. And then I come back here and I do my 4s before I do my 3d electrons, okay? So I'm in my fourth period here, I do the 4s first, and then these electrons here that are getting filled in, this is my first uh, electrons that are filling in d orbitals, so it actually is the 3d orbital here, okay? So I'm going to write 3d right there, okay? So I'm going to fill in my 3d orbitals here, and then I'm going to go back and fill in my 4p orbitals, okay? Then I'll go 5s, 4d, and then 5p. Then I'll go 6s. After my 6s, I go back and I, I have to fill in my f orbitals, right? My f orbitals down here, this is only the 4f down here, okay? So this is where my break is. I'm going to go fill in my 4f. And then I'm going to come back and I'll fill in my 5D, and then I'll go 6P, 7S, I jump back down to my F block, and I go fill in my 5F, and then 6D, and then finally the 7P uh, electrons. Okay? So the way that our uh, periodic table is organized is to show us our electron filling. Okay? Hopefully now you can fill in the practice that's up at the top here for our electron configurations. 
we're going to skip our orbital notation for a second and, and our noble gas formation, okay? Just try and fill in the top uh, electron configurations. 